Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today's project is installing a brand new kitchen sink and faucet. So let's get started. I'll first start off by getting the copper pipes ready for the shutoff valves. I'm using a basic copper cutting tool where I just keep spinning it and turning a little bit until it cuts through the copper. Once I get the copper cut on both sides, I can now attach the compression fit shutoff valve. I first light on the nut, then the brass compression ring, and then the shutoff valve itself. I use the channel locks and a crescent wrench to tighten everything down and it should be good to go. I will then repeat the same step on the other side. Now I'll start working on the PVC fittings that I need to glue together. I start by using PVC purple primer to prime everything up and then I'll just use some regular PVC glue to glue everything together. Once I use the glue, I'm just holding everything in place for at least 5 to 10 seconds just to make sure it doesn't move. Once I have all my glue attachments done, I can move on to getting the sink ready to install. It's a lot easier to attach everything with the sink upside down and on the table like this. The first step is to put plumber's putty all around the drain. I now can insert the drain from underneath and then I'll screw the locking collar on the top. I'm just trying to tighten this as much as I can with my hands. The goal is to have most of the plumber's putty ooze out the other side. Now I'll start assembling the faucet. Every faucet is going to be a little different so I just recommend that following the instructions that came with yours. This one turned out to be really easy. I just kind of threaded all the hoses through the middle hole and then there's one locking collar on the bottom that I secure it with. The one thing that did trip me up a little bit was apparently the handle is not supposed to go straight forward. It's supposed to go to the right. I figured that out later. With the sink itself all ready to go, I'm now going to run a bead of clear silicone all around where the sink's going to attach to. I chose to use clear because I knew a little bit of this would ooze out the sides once the sink's in place, which is just fine. Now I can just drop the sink in place and get it all lined up. One part I wasn't able to show is there's these clips that screw on to the bottom of the sink that attach to the laminate countertop. It was too hard to film, so you'll just have to follow the instructions for your own sink. Once the sink is securely in place, I'm just going to hook up the hoses to the shutoff valves. The hoses were blue and red, so it was really easy to match them up to the hot and cold line. I'll snug both of them up with a crescent wrench not to get them too tight so you don't crush the whole ring. Next I'll move on to installing the trap. This is the main piece of the trap that I bought to do a double sink. I should have probably followed the instructions a little better, but I just saw the pieces that I had and made them all fit. The main thing is just to make sure you get the right collars locking together so that there's not any leaks. Now I'll finish everything up by installing an accordion style trap. So here's the final project. I think it works like it should, hot and cold water, wiggle, pretty basic. This is a very DIY friendly project. I think I think almost anyone could do it if you have a few basic tools. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated when you're doing brand new plumbing with the cutting the copper and that kind of stuff. Also, I used a different kind of trap with this. Um, it's kind of that accordion style, which was really easy to use. I'm not sure if it's going to clog over time. So I might, if it does clog, have to go back and kind of switch that out. But I'm going with this. Hopefully it'll be fine. The only difference, uh, the luxury I had is these are brand new countertops, so at the factory they cut out um, the exact size for the sink I had. If they didn't do that, you'd have to use a template that comes with the sink, cardboard template, and then you cut, or, cut around the template. So um, if you have any questions, I guess leave those in the comment section down below. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks.